Alright guys, Mr. G here with Satisfactory, and I'm going to give you a quick guide on how to set up trucks and truck stations for those of you that have unlocked tier 3 and 4 by plunking in your space elevator. You can have a handy dandy new vehicles tab. Well, one of the first things you're going to want to get is a tractor just because it's ridiculously handy. So we've plunked one down. The cool thing about this uh, is it's got itself a little workbench right here, uh, which you can find right there, but it also has a little vehicle tab. You've got to put some fuel in this thing to get it going. Uh, we're going to be using this thing to get coal started. So we've already got two vehicle stations that I just plunked in. We're going to use these to get set up on coal power because if I have to cut down one more tree and sit and make biomass again, I am going to go insane. So let's talk first about truck stations. That's going to be our unloading station. It's going to set up to a whole chain of coal power plants. You can see we got our other little buddy there chugging right along, loading and unloading coal. So we're going to get ourselves over to our little coal station. Now, before we get into how to set up AI for this truck, we're going to talk about how truck stations work. Uh, they've got two inputs and they've got one output. You're going, why does it have two inputs? Well, take a look at the one with the two tanks. This is for fuel. It's going to use coal to fuel your trucks. So anything that it's mining or getting under the ground, like coal or oil, if you run that right in there, you could do something else if you wanted. Don't know why you would, though. Coal's pretty handy and it's already here. That'll feed right into your truck station. Now, it does have to have power. So we're running a coal station Mark 1. But we don't want to have to deal with uh, driving all this stuff ourselves. So each station has a configuration option. We've set this one to uh, loading because we're going to be loading coal at the station. You can see our little bro there. He's going to pull right under, but we're kind of in his way and we're kind of messing up his routes because the AI is not perfect when it comes to pathing that and there might not be any coal for him just now. So he might go ahead and simply take off. So we're going to park under here and it's going to automatically start loading us as soon as we're in the vicinity of this little crane right here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to hit start recording. You have to do this for every vehicle you set up. Now you've seen these blue arrows. Those are the paths uh, that we set our other little tractor here to follow. So we're going to just basically do the same route. Now you've got to go ahead and you've got to go there and back. So here we are at our unloading station. We're pulling under. It's going to automatically unload any coal that we have on this particular tractor. Now we've just got to finish up the second half of this route. We did have to wiggle it a little bit because sometimes it doesn't detect you if you're not careful with your routing. And we're going to drive on back to our loading station. And then all we have to do is save this path, turn on autopilot, hop off, and we're good to go. All right, here we are back at our loading station. Let's do a little U-turn. Let's wrap this up. So we're going to hold down C. We're going to hit finish recording. We're going to hold down C, enable autopilot, and we're going to hop off and away we go. We now have two AI trucks running between two truck stations, running coal back to our base, which we're then going to use so that, God forbid, we never have to use biomass burners again. That's it for this one. You found this useful. Hit a like, hit a subscribe if you want more stuff like this. And if you found a better way to do this, let me know in the comments because I know there's more efficient ways to do things. That's the beauty of Satisfactory. Catch you guys later. Mr. G out.